Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me again today. I'm bringing you this African costume, which I made and filmed in 2021. I couldn't post it because it was meant to be for one of the Miss Sahara beauty pageant and I didn't want to post this video before the show. I would have to admit, making this was so much fun. I did so much sewing, some beading and also some craft. So you will see in the video. So hopefully you will enjoy watching this video. Please stay tuned and watch till the end. Hello again. So I'm using this fabric and this is the fabric that I'll be using for the whole project. And I don't know what color this is. It's like a brown maroon i don't know what color to call this um so i'm gonna use this dress because the girl i'm making this for is very very slim i think she wears a size four and i'm gonna use this dress to trace the shape that i want and i'm not going to make it too long because she doesn't want it to be that long so the girl i'm making a costume for she is from the kikuyu tribe and this is the pattern that we are copying and so i had to do a bit of research because she just told me what her tribe was and that she needed an outfit for her traditional costume and so when i sent her some photos she was happy with this one and i said to her it might not come out exactly the way this looks because as i always say in my videos i'm not a tailor i don't really know how to sew i mean i can do the basics but i don't really know how to sew so this is the frame for our costume. It's a one sleeve dress. And now I'm doing this part, which will just be the front part. It's like a little piece that I'm just making. It's the same frame as the actual dress. And you will see in the photo, it will just be a little piece that's hanging on the front of the dress, like what's on the photo. So this is our frame for the dress and the little piece that goes on top. And next thing I just sit on my machine and I just, attach the pieces together then next I mark out where my zipper will go and I'll keep sewing because I'll only attach my zipper once I've overlocked the dress. Then I get my overlocking machine and I just overlock all the parts that I've sewn. And guys, I don't have the right color thread. So these are the colors I have and i just left it as it is it will be inside the dress no one will see what the color of the overlocking thread is once i finish overlocking i'll now attach my zip and I do not really know how to do this properly every single time. I just do it differently uh, and it seems to work. I always watch YouTube videos, YouTube High School Rocks. That's where I learn all the tips and all the tricks for sewing. Now that I've finished making the dress, and sorry guys, I didn't really show clearly what I was doing, but just bear with me. I have to cut two skirt pieces, so the two skirts or shawls that will go around the dress the first one is rectangular so i'm using my sarong to see how much fabric i will need and so i start with the straps the belts that will hold everything together and then i'll cut the rectangular shape using my sarong and i don't want to make it too long as well so that's the size i ended up going with the rectangular thing is for the back for the front, I cut almost similar, but it is a V, a triangular shape, which also has the straps. So these are the straps that I'm cutting now. 
then I go back to my overlocker and I just overlock around the two pieces that I've made and then when I finish I just hem everything so this is the final product that's my dress and that's the little part of the dress that I've put on the front that I was talking about and these are the two and these are the two extra fabrics that will be tied on top of the dress in addition to that I also made this so I ended up doing it off camera and it's the headband. So now I'm going to put the shells. And if you're familiar with some Kenyan tribes, some of their costumes have shells because they live near the sea. I was pretty disappointed here because I thought I had started filming and my camera was off. So what I basically did was put these shells onto the headband. And it's the same technique that I'm doing with this last one and i went for the pattern that has two shells on each side and then the three shells in the middle making like a, a v because the skirt part has a v pattern as well and so it's just putting my needle through the two holes on the shells and making sure the shell is attached onto the headband For the front piece, which I'll just call a skirt, for the front skirt thing that goes on top of the costume, I am going to put these shells laid down like this. So I just put them first to see if I have enough shells. And once I'm certain that I have enough shells, I take my marker and I mark where each shell will go. Once that's done, I'm going to attach the shells using the same technique. So these shells will go on this front part of my skirt and then also on the top part of the flap of the dress and on the back skirt just on the sides. So I did lose those footages of me putting the shells, but it's basically exactly how I'm doing it here. So I just attach each shell at a time and I make sure when I finish, I tie a knot, cut the thread, and then I do it again. And I'll just fast forward the video so I don't waste too much of your time. We go this is the front skirt complete and i have to do my dance when i'm happy with my results and so this is what i've done as i was mentioning i put the shells on the side of the skirt and on the front part of the dress like this now for the front skirt i need to add more beads and i'm just going in with my permanent marker i don't know why i use the permanent marker so i'm gonna put a v shape like that and I'm just putting my thread through and I'm gonna go in and put my beads. So these are the beads that I'm gonna use today. And so I had started properly, I'd started everything and then I realized halfway through my first section that the color pattern that I had started putting was wrong because I wanted to make this as Kenyan as possible I realized about now that I made a blunder and because I wanted to make the bead color the same as the flag, the Kenyan flag color, I had to redo everything and I'm so glad I noticed when I just started. And so that means I'm not gonna use that yellow um, or the blue, even though they're very nice colors, I'm just gonna stick with these three colors. And so all I did was put five green beads, a black bead, five white beads, a black bead, and five red beads and a black bead and I just kept going with that color scheme after every three sets or two sets or five I would sew that whole pattern onto my fabric so onto the skirt
once I finished beading all the three V's, I decided to make a bracelet. And once again, guys, I'm so sorry. I am very disappointed because I lost the footage. This bracelet has the same design as the headband with Velcro on the ends. I simply measured my arm, which is where my shirt, my t-shirt ends, and I attached the shells. So for the shells, I just did the same technique as the skirt, but instead of beading through both holes, I went in through the top hole only because I wanted the rattling effect. And then the bottom part was left hanging. So I'm really sorry, I don't have the footage. I don't know what happened. My iCloud didn't really save the things properly, but I'll explain it now. So as you can see here, I'm attaching the shell. I just made a knot and then I take the shell and I attach it through the top hole only. And I put my needle through and then I move on to the next one until I have all the shells I need. And there we have it this is what the armband looks like and i'm just gonna shake it so you can hear what it sounds like but you put it on like this and you just attach the velcro onto itself it's hard for me to do it with one hand and so this is what it will look like when you wear it and now i'm going to just dress my mannequin behind now I've made this necklace to go with the costume and I did this necklace a long time ago um, but it goes with the costume because it has the Kenyan flag colors and if you want to see how I make these necklaces please check out my other videos that are here on YouTube this one has a choker on it and it's just the Kenyan flag colors as I mentioned so now I'm gonna put the dress on and then the two skirt parts so you can see what it looks like Mind you, the person who is going to wear this is very petite. She's a size, she told me she's a size 6, but I think she's a size 4. And this is the first skirt and that goes at the back. So if you notice, I only put the shells halfway because I wasn't sure I had enough shells and I figured that other part will be covered anyway so I didn't really need to put it all the way and then the V part goes on the front like this and it looks good it's looking good I really like that final product and I'm just wondering if it's a bit too long because she didn't want a long outfit 
and I'm just tying the straps in the photo the straps were just tied it didn't look anything fancy so I just went with what the photo looked like and I'll just put the photo on the side as well and to add on to the costume there's this armband and also the headband so those go with the costume and I also made an anklet which I didn't film Now the final thing I'm going to make is a shield. You know I love making these African shields and I'm using EVA foam and I was supposed to use a blade to cut this foam. Please don't come for me in the comment section. I'm going to use a pair of scissors. I don't know why. I just feel lazy to look for my blade. But I'm looking for the design and this is what the Kenyan shield looks like because she did tell me that she needs to hold something on the runway and I thought if we do a Kenyan shield at least she can just hold it and so I just trace the design and then I cut it with this scissors it works guys don't judge me and once I cut it out I'm just shaping it properly on the sides the next thing i'm going to do is take my shield and i'm going to just do a draft drawing of what the design looks like so i'm using a pencil and a whole lot of things i decided to cut this cardboard because it will give me symmetrical shapes and i won't have to worry if any of the shapes look similar And this is what the draft looks like and so I'm gonna use my airbrush paint and I'm really excited to try these out and this is my airbrush set and I'm just connecting everything and once I've finished connecting I'm going to go ahead and start painting the shield so to get the right consistency I take my white paint and I put the thinners and then I test to see if I have the right consistency. And it looks like it's perfect. And then I start going over the white paint. And I was, try I was tired of sitting, so I was standing up and sitting down and just going over. But I ended up doing all the parts using this airbrush. So I did the white and then I did the black on the sides. And then I did the red. And that's what it looks like the red was the final part and that's what my shield looks like and the final touch is I have to put a gloss and so I'm just spraying my gloss finish so that the paint doesn't run and then I leave it for about 10 minutes to dry and after 10 minutes I come back and I have this strap it's just a luggage strap and it, it's really cheap it's not that expensive from the fabric store and I just cut a little bit, take my lighter and I burn the ends so that it doesn't run. And then I use my hot glue gun to stick the strap onto the shield. And I just make sure that it's really well stuck because the last thing I want is for it to come apart. I'm just taking the other piece of the band and I'm just smoothening it out because I don't want the hot glue parts to sticking out and poking her when she's wearing it and so finally this is what my shield looks like mm -hmm. 